Once there were two girls who shared a college dorm together. Their names were Meg and Venita. The girls were out partying one night. Meg noticed she forgot her purse and went back quickly to the dorm. Without turning on the lights, she walked in and grabbed the purse. Then she returned to the party. Later on that night, Venita got tired. She left to the dorm to go to sleep. The next morning, Meg went back to the dorm. The police were outside. Officer, what's the problem? She asked. There's been a murder. Oh my god, please let me see. No, it's a bit too sloppy, said the officer. Please. Finally, the officer let Meg upstairs. When she walked in the room, she saw her roommate covered with a clean white sheet. On the mirror, in big red letters, the word said, Aren't you glad you didn't turn on the light? A man was lying in bed one evening when he noticed there were lots of sirens in the streets outside and there was a helicopter flying around overhead and the sounds of barking dogs and shouting people. He looked out his window and saw a great deal of police activity. So he went online to discover what was going on. Serial killer escapes, said the headlines. As he read further, the man discovered a crazed killer had broken loose and that he was believed to be in the man's neighborhood. But he wasn't too worried. As the night wore on, the noise wound down and the man went to bed. Suddenly, the man was startled awake. He thought he had heard a sound. He listened carefully and was just about to go back to sleep when he heard it again. This time, he was sure someone was trying to get in his door. The man looked down the hallway, terrified, not knowing what to do. The only way out of his room without going down the hallway was through the window. He couldn't climb out, could he? His mind was made up as he saw the door wobble in its frame as someone threw their entire weight against it. Without another moment of hesitation, the man leapt out of his window and ran into the yard. He paused to look over his shoulder, just in time to see the light go on in his room and the team of police officers pile in. The man was amazed and relieved at the same time, until he felt a hand clamp tight over his mouth and the cold steel of a serial killer's knife against his throat. Jane wore a yellow ribbon around her neck every day, and I mean every day. Rain or shine, whether it matched her outfit or not. It annoyed her best friend Johnny after a while. He was her next door neighbour and had known Jane since she was three. When he was young, he had barely noticed the yellow ribbon, but now they were in high school. It bothered him. Why do you wear that yellow ribbon around your neck, Jane? He'd ask her every day, but she wouldn't tell him. Still... In spite of his aggravation, Johnny thought she was cute. He asked her to the soda shop for an ice cream sundae. Then he asked her to watch him play in the football game. Then he started seeing her home. And come the spring, he asked her to the dance. Jane always said yes when he asked her out. She always wore a yellow dress to match the ribbon around her neck. It finally occurred to Johnny that he and Jane were going steady and still didn't know why she wore the yellow ribbon around her neck. So he asked her about it yet again. And yet again, she did not tell him. Maybe someday I'll tell you about it. She'd reply. 
Someday. That answer annoyed Johnny, but he shrugged it off because Jane was so cute and fun to be with. Well, time flew past, as it has a habit of doing, and one day, Johnny proposed to Jane and was accepted. They planned a big wedding, and Jane hinted that she might tell him about the yellow ribbon around her neck on the wedding day. But somehow, what with the preparations and his beautiful bride and the lovely reception, Johnny never got around to asking Jane about it. And when he did remember, she got a bit teary-eyed and said, We're so happy together. What difference does it make? And Johnny decided she was right. Johnny and Jane raised a family of four. With the usual ups and downs, laughter and tears. When their golden anniversary rolled round, Johnny once again asked Jane about the yellow ribbon around her neck. It was the first time he brought it up since the week after the wedding. Whenever the children asked him about it, he'd always hush them and somehow, none of the kids dared ask their mother. Jane gave Johnny as sad as look and said, Johnny, you've waited this long. You can wait a while longer. And Johnny agreed. It was not until Jane was on her deathbed a year later that Johnny, seeing his last chance slip away, asked Jane one final time about the yellow ribbon she wore around her neck. She shook her head a bit at his persistence, and then said, with a sad smile, Okay, Johnny. You can go ahead and untie it. With shaking hands, Johnny fumbled for the knot, and untied the yellow ribbon around his wife's neck. And Jane's head fell off.